this is Dave Tang with New Legacy Homes, and today I wanted to talk about the benefits of carriage houses. Some of the big reasons why people want carriage houses these days are primarily for the extra space. And then what is it that you do with the extra space? Because the carriage house is detached from the existing home. So it provides all sorts of benefits and uses that uh, people are finding very attractive nowadays. Um, certainly the extra space itself can be a lot of fun, um, whether you just use it as a game room or something like that. Practically speaking, for a lot of people nowadays, there's remote work and people want to have a separate office space that they can go to, a place that they can kind of, it's like commuting, but not really commuting. A lot of people, if they have guests over, they want to give their guests a little bit of extra privacy, especially if there's an in-law situation. A lot of families are uh, moving in together. So if there's an in-law situation, it really gives someone an extra measure of privacy and separation of space. We also have clients who are looking for potential income off of their carriage house units. So you can use them as rental units for long-term rental or for short-term rentals like Airbnbs. So there's just a, a, a lot of flexibility that comes from essentially having a self-contained living space on your property separate from the rest of your house. Once the carriage house is done, it's really up to you how you want to use it. Once they start thinking about it, they can really imagine all sorts of different uses for a carriage house. But I just want to say that not all carriage houses are created equal. The carriage houses that we've done, there's just certain things that most people don't think about, um, but they really should when they're talking to another builder uh, or someone else about possibly doing a carriage house on their property or having it added to their house. Like when we build a house for them, we give our customers the option of adding a carriage house. And some of the things that we have learned that you need to be careful about are, first of all, is just utilities. We've certainly seen on the market builders or sellers that advertise an unfinished carriage house space. Well, you could walk into a carriage house and you can see the studs and, and your mind starts to go, wow, I could do all these things here. But you need to verify that there's water, there's electricity, possibly gas, so that you know that you can do what you really want with it. For example, if you don't have water and sewer to the carriage house, then you really can't have a kitchen, you can't have a sink, you can't have a bathroom. So if you're thinking of having any of those features in your carriage house, if you don't have water and sewer, then it's very expensive to retrofit the, the space in order to have those things. Another thing that comes up is electrical power. Um, if you don't have gas to your carriage house, when we build our carriage houses, we actually add a second electric meter. Costs a little bit more, so you gotta be aware of you got to be sure you ask that question if you're having someone else do one of your carriage houses for you. But the reason why we have a separate electric meter is so that you can have full power to the carriage house. Because if you don't have gas, then you're going to need an electric range. You're going to need an electric water heater, an electric furnace. Obviously, your microwave's electric to begin with. So you're going to have all these appliances that need more power than you would think. And if you've already got an existing house with its own electric meter set up to power all of those things, and you essentially add an entire structure again, and you need the power to run all of those things separately, if you don't have a separate electric meter, you may not have enough power to really run both the house and the carriage house separately. Another benefit of having a separate electric meter 
is that if you do decide to use the property as a rental, for example, then that tenant is responsible for their own electricity. And since you're using electricity, the heat as well, the water, heat, everything like that, the utility costs then get passed on to a tenant rather than the utility costs are all part of one bill. So it's really important to know what the utility situation is if you're looking at a carriage house and really understand, therefore, if there is something missing, what the cost is to add that back into your carriage house.